بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ لوت علیہ صلاۃ وسلام was a compassionate and patient prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who had to endure trials against his nation. In the Mustadrak of Imam Hakim rahimahullah, he quotes Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala and to say that Lut alayhi salatu wasalam was the nephew of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, the brother of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam's wife, Sarah. After encountering Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam in Babylon in Iraq, he was commanded to go to Jordan to call the people over there to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A narration is cited by Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala an, that he was sent to a place close to Hims, Sadum, Umura and Amura, famously known as Sodom and Gomorrah in biblical terms. These narrations are mentioned in Ruh al-Ma'ani. Anyhow, Lut alayhi salatu wasalam was tried by his people and they persisted and intimidated him to also fall into the same sin that they were committing, the sin of homosexuality. To Lut alayhi salatu wasalam, as it would be to anyone with Salim al-Tab, sound nature, this was strange. And the Quran establishes this through his question. Are you coming to lewdness which has not preceded it from any one of the worlds? Look at the severity of exaggeration that it was foreign even to the people of sin before his time to commit such an act. As a way to mock Lut and his followers, the Sodomites would say regarding them, that they were too pure for us, an expression of mere arrogance. As a result of their arrogance and sin, there are several narrations on what happened with these people as a punishment. Two angels were sent to Ibrahim والسلام, to give glad tidings of a child. They also had news of the punishment of Lut والسلام, people. They came to Lut والسلام, in the form of young, handsome men who were very appealing to the Sodomites. After they were permitted to enter Lut والسلام's house, the Sodomites gathered around and tried to force their way in the house of Lut والسلام. Lut was fearful for these two angels, but after revealing their identities, Lut was at peace and was commanded to leave the city as Allah's wrath would descend on these people. A light was emitted and blinded the people of Lut and he was able to get away with his followers. As the Quran mentions, they left at night as shown by the use of the word Sarah, which means to travel at night. Lut والسلام, wife, Wahila or Waliha, as Ruh al Ma'ani mentions, stayed behind, Ghabirin, as the Quran says. As narrations mention, the city was uplifted to the skies and it was crashed back down. This was one of the punishments. The other punishments included stones being rained down from the sky, as Allah says, and a painful ear piercing scream. All in all, the point is established, however, and is more relevant to our time that our religion is not to be compromised with on any grounds. We should endeavour to teach ourselves and our children to know what the boundaries are that have been set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what better time is there than to start now in the month of Ramadan, where the rewards are multiplied magnanimously up to 700 times as narrations mention. May Allah Azza wa Jal give me and you hidayah and the ummah. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inni uhibbu al-hashimiyya muhammada Hubban tahimu bihi al-qulub wa ta'ala